This is the version one of the LiDAR bracket for the RP LiDAR A1 unit. And um, it holds the LiDAR with four screws. The size of the screws are just um, M2.5 by six millimeters. There are screws of this length found in other parts of the robot. And so I, I made an, a very strong countersunk countersink here so that they could protrude and reach um, the standoffs and there are two ways to mount this bracket the quick and dirty mount is using the twist bracket and the more secure mount is using these m6 screws and the regular slide in uh, t-slot nuts so um, alternatively, you can use our twist dovetail, which is ready tidy. You set that there and then this slides on, but in order to have it slide down, um, this one needs to pass along the extrusion. And by the way, that's a little bit of uh, support material in the holes, but um, you would need to cut off that little feature here so that there's clearance when you twist it so that's just a matter of go in use a knife try to cut away from yourself and you can trim off that feature because that is um, that exists to align when you put in the bracket using screws there. So without that feature down here, let's see. This feature helps to make sure that it stays exactly flat on the 30 by 30 extrusion. But um, you, can, you can also use the dovetail snapping feature to make it stay flat and it's gonna be plus or minus a degree or so, and it will be pretty good. I designed this bracket for the Scuttle robot shown here, but it's certainly compatible with any different device that's um, using or mounting the 30 millimeter aluminum extrusions. So um, hopefully that serves other, other users as well. And all the files for downloading and printing and modifying the design are gonna be available on the links below in the video.